What's up, fishing fam? I'm over here at Lake Balboa. I'm in a paddle boat today, all by myself. Gonna be trying it out. I got my GoPro on. So that accident that happened uh, last weekend ain't gonna happen again, cause I got my GoPro on. Last weekend I lost that fish cause I, uh, I let it swim out a little farther cause I wanted to get it on camera. But um, when I did that, it ended up swimming underneath a pipe or something and snapping me off. So for now on, I got this GoPro on and whenever I hook up, all I gotta do is just push the button on top and it's recording. So um, I'm not gonna be using uh, my other camera or my phone that I was using before to uh, get the fish on film. I'm gonna be doing that off my GoPro. And then the vlogging part, like this part right here, the talking, um, I'm gonna be doing it off uh, my camera on my phone like I always do. All right, guys, it's a, it's a nice day out today. It's probably uh, close to 75 degrees right now. It's, uh, it's about nine o'clock. Sunday morning. No one's hardly out here fishing. There's like maybe, I think like three people. It's gonna be a great day, guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna start off throwing a little uh, wake bait that I got from Bass Pro Shop. You guys can check out um, my Bass Pro Shop video, the shopping spree. And uh, you'll see that bait on there. I'm gonna be throwing that little wake bait. I'm also gonna, gonna be throwing a net rig with a little uh, three inch cattail cinco. And then I'm gonna be throwing a drop shot too with a three inch cattail cinco on it. See if I can get some fish today, guys. I'm moving spots now. I had one bite over here. I've been over here maybe about 25 minutes. I had a bite on the drop shot, but I think it was a small fish. Cause it, it like tapped it a couple times on my drop shot and then it, it didn't really run with it. So I think it was a little small one messing with it. So now I'm gonna go over here and try in front of the uh, playground area. In the deeper water. See if I can get bit over there. I'm just gonna be trying different spots, trying to get bit today. Winter time is pretty tough. You know, usually you can only get, you know, five fish a day. You're lucky to get five fish a day. So. It's pretty slow. And I'm just gonna keep on fishing and covering water. I'm on my way over to the playground area right now. Just got one, guys. Got a pig. Got the pig I lost last time. Got the pig I lost last time, guys. I came back for him, guys. Got him in a boat. Trying to wear him out. I'm gonna lip him. Uh, give me it in your mouth. Give me 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 your mouth. Oh, there it is, guys. Right there about a four pounder I came back for him guys and I got him got him on that Cinco oh my gosh guys this guy's about four pounds stuck him guys came back the next weekend Woo! hell yeah There he is guys, four pounder. Came back the next weekend, came back for this bad boy and I got him. You check out my last video guys, he jumped off and I, and I lost him last weekend. Just got him right there guys. Nice bass, about four pounds. Check it out guys, right there. About four pounds. Can you take a picture for me? Picture? I'm coming. Okay. Ready? Yeah.
Estamos en alta mar y bajamos. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you, and put it back. Thank you so much. Bye bye. And put it in the water. There it is, guys, right there, about four pounds. Huge bass, about to release it. See you later, Charlie. That was one heck of a fight. Biggest bass I ever got out of Lake Balboa. Four pounder. Oh man, I'm so stoked right now. See you later, girl. Or boy, whatever you are. Oh man. What a fish, guys. What a fish. There she goes. Thank you. Oh man, guys, I'm so freaking stoked right now. That was a huge bass, about four pounds. Man, let me tell you guys what happened. I pulled up to this bubbler right here, the same one I lost that fish at last weekend. I pulled up, made one cast to the spot where I, where I cast it last time, and just freaking hooked up on that sucker. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking stoked right now, man. My heart's beating so fast. That's the biggest bass that I've seen come out of here. That's definitely my, my personal best from here, man. Personal best. Four pounds. His lips were so fat. When I grabbed his lips, his lips were just so big. He had like the lips of like a freaking five pounder. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to fishing. I'm going to fish these bubblers right here, see if I get some more big ones. That would be awesome if I could. Great day today, guys. Wow. The gel just hooked up. He could have swore it was a snag until he pulled back on it. <laughs> this is the second time it's happened, guys. Over at Cast Egg, he did the same thing. <laughs> Nice, dude. Got that one on the drop shot. Yeah, drop shot. Don't be. Is that is that my little worm or is it one of your little worms? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Got another bubbler. 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 So that was awesome. I lost that fish last weekend. It ended up swimming under a pipe and uh, just snapping my line off last weekend. So I came back for revenge this weekend. Went in a boat because I knew he couldn't snap me off in a boat. Went out to that same spot. I pulled my boat out in the deeper water, cast it over there to the bubbler. And the first cast, he bit it and the fight was on as you guys saw. Every day is a little different. That's why you got to get out there and just, you know, try all your baits and try to find fish. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Before I let you guys go, I want to let you guys know what I was using, the baits I was using. So I was using a, a drop shot with that Bass Pro Shop 3-inch Cuttail uh, Cinco. And I was just drop shotting it. That's how I caught that big fish. I was also throwing a Ned Rig. And a um, and a jerk bait. Um, I did throw a whopper plopper a little bit later in the day. Um, I never used one before, so I kind of wanted to test it out. I love the way it works. You can really really slow, and uh, the tail will still paddle back there. And also, it's got some really sticky sharp hooks on there, so I could just pretty much just reel set it and reel into them. So I really like that. Hopefully, I can catch one on that whopper plopper pretty soon. Springs. Uh, springtime is coming so uh, that might be the next uh, opportunity that I get on that whopper plopper thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it I'll catch you guys next weekend peace out